Hi everybody, this is Debbie from Deb's Thing. Do you know it's been at least a month or so since I have done a tutorial? Um, I'm kind of taking a hiatus, a little tired, so I needed some rest time. But um, today I'm going to do this design. It doesn't look much like here. I have revised it, but I'll just um, explain a little bit. It was um, referenced as 7E in part two of my introduction to my original design tutor um, videos, the first two videos on my channel. And at that time I had done uh, double bands on the border and I do not like those. And I thought it was a little loosey-goosey, but my first edit was taking it to single um, bands along the border and I just thought it was still a little bit loose. I liked what was happening so I came up with this and I really like this. I'm not sure which one I like, which side I like better, this side or this side. Probably this one looks a little better. Um, this one you see the single chain up the edge. This one you see the pattern, kind of, you know, the different looping. And here it is using um, the thinner sweets bands. So I picked this one because I thought it would be a great design to highlight uh, the solar bands, which I got as a gift when I was presented with this. Yes, I am a 2015 rainbow loom artist yay for me I was just so excited when I got contacted by rainbow loom and so yeah I'm just really thrilled and of course I got this is probably gonna blur out a little bit this will show it real quick um, you can go online of course to see the contents oh it's reflecting my wonderful fluorescent bands but anyhow most of you know that the solar bands come in five colors, the real pretty pastels, and they turn just wonderful shades of you know, warm tone reds, purples, kind of salmon -y colors in the sunshine. And so I thought I would name this Sun Kissed. I thought that was really cute because that's pretty much what's happening with these bands. They're being kissed by the sun, it changes their color just as somebody who tans horn muck as freckles. <laughs> so anyhow, let's get to work. We are going to start by deciding what color first. I think I'm just going to go with the green. And so I'm going to put two bands here for its, um, I never remember what that is. You know, the little connector thingy. And then I'm going to place a band here, another one here. Well, I'll be using the same color for this short little sequence. So it'll be four bands total of one color. I forget like I'm supposed to be saying something else. I'm really out of practice. I feel like one of my, it's one of my first tutorials and I don't know what to say. Most of you know me, I kind of ramble between this and get in a little bit closer. All right. Yeah, this design, um, I only had the my notes card before the, the kind of the original version. And so I spent hours trying to figure out how the heck I did this. And I thought, you know what, let me look through my notebook of my little scribblings and stuff. And sure enough, I found a page that said 7E, and it showed how to do this. You know, when you see this, I would have never figured out how to get from here to here. Yeah, very unusual. Uh, I use very, I, guess, I think, unusual type of layout. And so, yeah, it took me a while before I just, like, got the light bulb moment. It's like, yeah, look through your notes, Debbie. Maybe it's somewhere. Okay, so now you will take your second color. Oh, actually, 
back up, back up. That's one of the things different. I am going to do um, the borders first, and I'm going to here where here I used three colors up the side. I'm going to use um, the four pastel colors, and I'm going to use the white where the black is here. So I started with green. We'll go pink. Blue, yellow, and then just start again. Green, pink, blue, and you gotta make sure they're not get all twisted. There you go. And yellow, and you can do that all the way to the end. If you're going to do a full wrap, you might almost oh yeah, you can oh that, that's what I forgot you probably noticed <laughs> this is the bar um, bar pin setup it's seven wide and the first fourth and seventh are the lower ones and these two sets right here are one pin up alrighty we are back and so oh, these are very pale bands show from the side. <laughs> oh, I'm just so loving this table. I think we have to put that little non-sticky stuff on it because it's kind of slippery and noisy, but um, I have so much more real estate here. I just feel, <laughs> I feel like a queen in a mansion. Okay, next step is, okay, this is how it's going to work. Every sequence of color we are going to do is going to be according to the next band up. So this is the green here. So the next color is going to be the pink. And we'll be doing the sequence a lot. We're going to start by placing one band here. One band here. And one band like this. And we are going to do that continually up each side. So the next one is going to be blue. So we're going to do one, two. Got to get the bands on straight. Yeah, I'm just, my hands are out of practice. My, you know, rhythm of sequence is is pretty um I can't even think of the words pretty choppy as you can tell I'm stumbling for my words even worse than I usually do and as I should mention that there were five other new 2015 loom artists named and if you are on Instagram you probably have um got wind of it but let me see if I can remember them all without cheating. Okay, now I'm going to, before I tell the names, I'm going to get you going on this. Let's see, so you do one straight, you do one towards the middle, and then one over here. Next color up is blue. So just one, two, three, one, two, three, kind of like a dance move. One, two, three, one, two, three. And you can use two, I've, I've played around with it in two colors. Um, you know, this one in three, sample in three, four, you could do rainbow of colors. I suppose you could even do it one color. Maybe mixing up the style of bands a little bit. I was thinking of doing this with the big um, specialty bands, but I know I'm still too <laughs> too skimpy on my my bands um, to use that many on one bracelet right now. Uh, I will get braver and less frugal at some point. Okay, so this was the first. You know, I did the pink, the blue, well, the green first. Because green is like kind of my the bottom border. Pink, 
blue, yellow, and now we're going to start back with green. And it is, I think I've given you enough, um, you know, I can go off camera after this, but I just want to give you the names of the other five ladies. Three from the United States, one from the Netherlands, one from the Philippines, and one from Australia. So we got a wonderful mix from around the world, even on in the United States. One is a Pacific, me, and one's mountain, and mountains, and the one on the East Coast. So anyhow, and the green and I use green or yellow. I'm getting confused here. I think I just used yeah, I did use the yellow on here. It looks so when they're not in a pile, they look too close together. Anyhow, there is the youngest is Abby at Expert Looms. You can check these. I think it's expert um whoops. Underscore looms. And then um there is Loves 2, the number 2 loom, and that is Christy with a K. Then there's Loom ah, Vicious, I think that's it. <laughs> and that is, ah, I believe Nancy, oh my gosh. And then there's ah, Lumen Looney, L O O M I N L. O O N E Y, I believe, and that's Ina from the Philippines. And let's see, ah, what am I forgetting? Did I say five? Right. Anyways, you know what? My brain is 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 short circuiting, so I will come back when I've got all these placed, and I will bring my list. Of all the loomers, I want to make sure you check them all out. Um, a couple of the ladies do um, the 3D creations. They're just like amazing. One, she does all kinds of, of like fruit and vegetables and food. Uh, the other one does uh, like dragon type, you know, and animals. Just I didn't I didn't know them before. Um, we got together, and became the three the six sisters. Sisters of the 2015 Loom Artists. So it was really great to get to know them and see all the amazing work they do. And I will be back. While I was off camera, I changed the um, color order a little bit. So I had to pull everything off and redo it because when I was having the yellow and the green next to each other, it was it was just making my eyes all bonky. So. I went from green, I, you know, in the previous segment it was green, pink, blue, yellow. Now it's green, pink, yellow, blue. And it's just easier for me to um, see it. So hopefully that didn't confuse you. Uh, you know, it's fine, whatever color pattern you want. And um, I also realized, because I had never done a four. You know, four color variation. Um, it, it's a little different when you end it. Of course, if you do two and a half lengths, you can choose to end it so that you have um, the same color on each end. Here I have blue and blue, but when I'm using four colors, it's not working that way if you go to the full length of the loom. Um, I could have ended it one shorter and and made it um, hmm let me think here. You know what? I'm just going to leave it like this. It's no biggie. So this is how it ends up. You have your you know last color here and so then you're going to place three of the next color which in my case after the blue comes the green and after the green comes the pink. So I'm going to place one band here, one band here, and then do the same on the other side. And that's how you'll 
finish it off. So you just take the time to think about it. If you, you know, you want it to have the same colors on both ends, um, then just think about, you know, which you have to end it the last color before, you know, this color. <laughs> Does that make any sense? I hope it's oh. Anyhow, I'm getting the design. You guys figure out the colors. Um, it's not real hard, but I'm having an awful difficult time explaining this. Okay, so now we've got it capped off, or, you know, the other border ended. And this is the step that after four or so hours of just trying to pull this apart and looking at it, I did not figure out and did not remember because it's been, you know, a few months since I've made this. The next step before we place the center bands is that we will make a second border row. So you are going to just copy whatever you have as a pattern here. So mine now is green, pink, yellow, blue, and you're just going to do that all the way up to the end on both sides. Okay. I am so sorry I'm having so much difficulty explaining all this to you. I really apologize. I'm going to have to get back into doing at least one tutorial a day so um, I'm not so rusty and brain dead. It's terrible. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera, finish that up, then I'll show you the next step. And again, as far as making the colors both same um, on both ends, if you use three colors, it should, you know, just come right out, come nice and easily. If not, you'll either have to extend or make it a little shorter so that the next color sequence is the one that's the same as here. Okay? Be right back. Hi everybody, I'm back. Um, I told you that I was going to um, point out all the um, new Rainbow Loom artists for 215. 2015, and I'm on the Luminaries tab on RainbowLoom.com, and if you look at the Rainbow Loom artists, which they used to be like Rainbow Loom stars, and now they're um, they all be combined as artists. So I'm here. This is me, Debbie, from Deb's Thing, and then Abby, Expert Looms. Then we have. Lumbicious. That's Nancy from the Netherlands. Um, Abby and I are from the United States. Let's see. After that, we've got Lumen Looney. That's Ina from, I think it's Ina or Ina. It might be Ina. She's from the Philippines. And then Loves to Loom. She's from the United States. And that's Christy. And I'm missing one, didn't I? I missed one. Okay, who else? Okay, we got Expert Looms, Lumbicious. Oh, yes. My friend from Australia, where are you? Big Star, Victoria. She's right here. I hope you're feeling better, Victoria. So that's, that's the six of us. And make sure you check out everybody. Everybody, you know, I have to assume we're equally talented. I don't think I'm as talented as as these other ladies. Um, their designs blow me away. But make sure you check them all out, okay? Thanks so much. Let's get back to the looming. Alrighty. So we have the second layer of the borders. And I'm a little far off. Let me get back a little closer. Alrighty. So now we're going to do the center, which I am doing in the white bands. And it's very simply, you're going to be making an X. Kind of like a partial starburst. But you're only using four bands instead of a full six. Okay, now you can 
do this sequence all the way up and then cap the centers. You can do you know do this all the way up. You definitely have to get a stickier surface so this doesn't slide around. It's so irritating to me. Okay. So the cap you're going to use, you're just going to like this one right here is the pink color. So you're just going to double, just kind of twist it and then roll it over. And so the next one is yellow. So we're just going to do that all the way up the loom. And then I get to show you how it's looped back. Ah, I don't know. I must have been drinking too much Coca-Cola or something that night, or too much coffee. I don't know. I rarely drink coffee, but I don't know what I was thinking when I came up with, with this design. Okay, so does that make sense? So now this cap is going to be blue, and then finally green because I'm using four colors. Alrighty. Got a ways to go before I'm finished with this, so I will be back. Okay, at this point I have all my white X bands and they're all capped in you know accordance to the order I placed the colors. And now I'm going to spin it around because it'll be easier. And I'm going to use two bands. I'm going to twist them and cap. So I have a... Uh, come on, girls. Come on. You can, you can cooperate. <laughs> so, this. All right, there we go. The first sequence of... of Looping the bands back is really easy. It'll be like the starburst where you'll reach under the cap and go around and bring them back to their home post. And we will just do that all the way up the center. So it'll take a little bit of time, but it's very easy. I think most everybody's done the starburst. So this is easier because you only have you have only four bands to loop out. Okay, I'll do it one more time. And whatever one's on top, and if you followed my order of placement, you'll be looping them back in the same manner. So you just take the one on top as you go around. Alrighty. I can't wait to see what this is going to look like. I mean, it'll definitely be more subtle than, you know, these real bright neon colors. Uh, and I'll have to wait till tomorrow because it's what? Oh, I don't have a clock in here anymore. Uh, it's, it's late. It's almost midnight. So, you know, I'll take the picture of what it looks like outside, you know, inside and then I can't wait to see what it looks like after the sun kisses it. <laughs> Alrighty, I will be back. Alrighty, here we are. We're ready to do the final sequence. Okay. It's different but it's not super com you know, complicated. So we will start out with our Reaching in, taking the one on the top, which is the left knee, and grabbing, going under and grabbing that other border band. Pink one for me. Ah. Okay, where are you? Hold on a second, it's getting a little out of order. There we are. And then we will have the green one here. Yes. 
So then we'll do the same on the other side, just so we don't lose track of what we're doing. Let's see. Come on. Part of the reason I'm so discombobulated is I have a whole new setup. I will post my husband and my, I think, is a fairly creative way to keep the camera above. And you don't have to worry about it um, tipping over. I, it's kind of a heavy camera, so I don't want it to um, tip over and break. <coughs> but anyhow, um, that's, I'll show you that later. But it's one of the reasons why I'm a little um, confused and not in a very good rhythm right now. So that was step one, two, three. And this is the initial setup sequence. So we'll only do this one time and then we'll have our pattern as you know we go up the, up the um, loom. So I'm going to bring this one out and bring it out. And... Personally, as I I do it, um, when it's either one side and another side, and the two sides don't you know interact, I'll go up one side and then I'll go up the other side. It's just I find it so much easier. So we do that step, and then see this this top um, the top band, these two border bands. We're gonna just reach under. And bring it up here to its uh, to a non-home pin. And then we will grab the last two parallel bands. Well, they're not parallel actually; they're vertical. And that's that sequence. Let's see, we did that one. So now we do this one, and then do the two straight ups. Okay, and that gets the initial setup finished. Now the rest of the sequence will be all the way up to the end. So, band one that we will loop back is this one right here, one. And then this upper border band is number two. See this band right here? Reach down and grab that. It is number three. <laughs> and then four and five. Either though, even though four and five, you know, it doesn't matter what you do first. Because they're just straight up. So on this side, it looks like this. And I will do this a few times so you get the hang of it. One, two, this guy right here is number three, reach in here, three, four, and five. And as I said, four and five, it doesn't matter, they're just going straight up, so whatever is your preference. So as you can see, when I was trying to pull this thing apart and trying to figure out, I just realized, I just knew that there was an extra band, you know, I added one more band somewhere. I just didn't know how. And it was this top, top border band. And so this will be the sequence. Let's do it again. One. Three, four, and five. And as you can see, four and five, I just, you know, I don't keep track of which is four and which is five. They just both have to be pulled up. 
but this diagonal one has to be first and this non home pin angled one has to go second and this diagonal has to go third diagonal that's such a hard word and then the last two are the straight up bands alrighty we'll do it a couple more times so I mean it'll take a while but not too long one two three and then four and five four one two Four and five. And you you know, as common sense would dictate, you push it down a little so you have room for the other bands. So now we're in the next segment. The angled one first, one the top. That was probably one of you guys sending me a message. <laughs> If you heard that little little alert on my tablet, which is sitting next to me, one, two, I'm sorry, three, four, five, and one, two. If this feels a little tight, just use, you know, your fingers to help pull it so you don't overstretch the band. Um, some bands, uh, they snap back and, re you know, retain their elasticity. Others, they kind of get weak if they're overstretched and become loose and, and, and kind of like a sloppy... Um, sloppy um, weave as opposed to nice and tight and uniform like this one is. Alrighty, do it a couple more times. The angled one first, the top one to the non-home non pin second, this little diagonal here, three, and then the two single chains, four, and five. There's one, two, three, uh, four, and five. All righty. I think I've shown enough of that sequence where you got it. You know, I'll do one more just in case I'm too, I'm, you know, I don't have any frame of reference on my uh, table. So it's hard to see with the, with the um, screen of the camera above my head. I don't have eyeballs on top of my head, so I cannot see when I'm looking down. <laughs> I'll do it one more time, make sure you're yeah. totally in the middle of the screen. One, two, three, four, and five. And I know some of you, it drives you crazy, my little counting and others appreciate it, but I have to do what works for me or else you will not understand what I'm doing. <laughs> because I get myself too confused. So counting for me 
helps one, two, three, four, and five. Alrighty. That definitely was in center screen, so I know you saw that sequence. And I will go off camera and finish this. I think it's looking, it's looking pretty. I mean, I don't know if you can see the um, distinction of the colors as well on, you know, on on YouTube on the screen as it looks in real life. But I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. So I'm really excited to see the variations of the. Um, sun-kissed colors. Isn't that cool? I'm, I'm liking that more and more, that name that I came up with. It's just kissed by the sun. Just the sun just gently puts its warmth over these bands and its um, spectrum because if it was a warm thing they would change color. If you just squeeze them for a minute they don't so they're not like a mood ring. They definitely need the sun to change themselves so they are truly sun-kissed. Alrighty, I'll see you in a little bit. So I have now looped back all the bands as far as I could do that full sequence and all we have left are the three border bands on either side. So we will just quickly finish those off. I'm so excited. I finally have a tutor new tutorial after all these weeks of not doing any. We were busy rearranging the house and all my furniture and where I hang out all day long and stuff. So it was just a little too chaotic to figure out, you know, put my brain into tutorial mode. But now we're getting it set up. Plus, I didn't have the... Um, camera setup that I felt comfortable with. Alrighty, now I'm going to reach in and grab these two bands in a cut. As part of my Fun in the Sun kit, I've got a package of the colored clips, so I'm going to pop the green one on here. And now all we have to do is take it off. I am going to just do this on each side. At least the sides first. I'm very excited about seeing this pastel color in the, the kind of transparent, not fully transparent, but somewhat transparent bands. I mean, they're definitely opaque, but they're not like solid colors like these are much more delicately big colored. Who doesn't love pastels, you know? Springtime and just gentle beauty. I love all colors. My mood dictates I will be more prone to enjoying the pastels um, or the muted colors, sometimes the vibrant colors. They're all great. No color is bad, except some shades of brown. <laughs> I do have a prejudice over brown. Some shades are just unnecessary. Taking, um, carefully taking the loom, the bracelet off the loom as opposed to just pulling it off. Just to try to keep it more 
intact. Alrighty, alrighty. Here we have it. Oh, this one came out really long. Oh my gosh. Look how long this guy is. Now, go figure. I'll have to count. Maybe I, maybe I didn't make it full loom. Oh, I'm about to make a note about that. Okay. There it is. Oh, that's so pretty. So delicate. I don't know which side. Let's see which side do we like. This side. Definitely this side. The side that shows the, um, looks like a nice single, single chain up the, up the sides as opposed to the non, you know, where they look all different. This is definitely the nicer side. And you know what I like about these bands? They feel really nice and nice and soft and silky and they move this. These bands are much stiffer. Okay, so I'm going to definitely have to make a notation. Now you definitely can't see the white bands as much as, you know, the distinctive black bands here. But the subtlety is very pretty. And yeah, look at that. I think for most people who have an average size wrist, this will be perfect. It's a little bit big for me, but then we all know my wrists are a little bit puny compared to others. Not all, but many. <laughs> my kids always tease me, my, especially my four daughters, even my 11 year old's wrist is bigger than mine. <laughs> and her, her foot size is, she's almost the same shoe size as I am. Yeah. I got ripped off in the size department. All right. Thank you so very much for watching. Um, feel free to subscribe to Deb's thing if you'd like to see more of my awesome tutorials. <laughs> it's a tongue-in-cheek comment because I know I flubbed this one up with all my fumbling and brain-dead moments. And of course, um, check me out on Instagram at Deb's thing and Feel free to follow me there so you can see my infrequent but semi-regular posts. I know I try. I do my best. I just, I have too many down days and I can't do a tutorial, a post a day. I can barely keep up with answering what responses on a daily basis. But anyhow, God bless you. Thank you so very, so very much for watching. Bye-bye.